Titans All Access continues from the Bet MGM studio. Here's my Titans Radio broadcast partner, Dave McGinnis, who knows Pete Carroll very well. You have gone against him many times. Yes, I have. While he was coach of these Seattle Seahawks. What's a Pete Carroll team like? Well, first of all, it's going to be very fundamentally sound on, on defense. You know that. And then offensively, he really plays good complimentary football. He always has. He did it at USC, did the same thing when he came to Seattle. He plays complimentary football with his offense, but he builds everything around his defense. He, br he brought that, that three-match defense to the National Football League and played it exclusively for a lot of years. When I was with the Rams, we played them every year. We built that Rams team when we went in there early on to beat Pete Carroll and the Seattle Seahawks because they were the top of the NFC West at the time. So you always knew that you were going to have a very fundamentally sound team. And what we used to try to get over on him on were special teams. We did it a couple of times with the Mountaineer, with, but it, it takes a lot of work to get something over on him. The most fundamentally sound player on his team is 12th year linebacker Bobby Wagner who appears headed for the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And as well he should be. I remember we, we vetted Bobby, brought him in for a visit at the Rams, wanted him very badly. He was a second round pick out of Utah State. And you just knew, watching him play at Utah State, this was a guy that made plays everywhere in every way. And he was the perfect behind the ball linebacker that you were looking for, especially if you could build a defensive front in front of him that could eat up some, some gaps. I mean, he made plays inside, he made plays outside. He is gonna be a Hall of Fame football player and, and he's produced really, really well. We're going to go beneath the surface with Coach Mack, powered by Microsoft, to show us why Bobby Wagner is the special player that he is. Well, first of all, the reason that this play is is brought up, you can see this is a, this is short yardage, and, and basically you're getting ready to get the tush push here. And so you think, well, this is not a very, you know, exciting play to watch. This shows Bobby Wagner, first of all, his instincts. Second of all, he's not only a, a guy that has played for 12 years in the league, but he understands the game. He understands what he has to do. Watch how he plays this version of the tush push by the Giants. Stop it, Mike. This works, this play works because Bobby Wagner, Bobby Wagner was able to come up, he, he was able to come up here and he's the one that makes the play. He's the one that comes up and makes the play because the tush push is, 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 is made to wedge out everybody up the inside. Bobby Wagner didn't just jump into air over nothing. He went for the quarterback, and he went for the spot of the ball, which is very important. All right, let's take a look at it from behind here. Bobby Wagner stepping right into the gap, right off the bat. Right into the gap, and plus, you got you to understand, he's got, enough, he's got enough sand in his pocket to be able to stop that jump right in midair. That's why he's stayed in this league for so long. He's not only a great foot athlete, Mike, very, very physical football player. So here's Bobby Wagner. Let's take a look at the anticipation. He sees Daniel Jones here, two offensive linemen, and Matt Breed is set to push. He goes for the quarterback. He doesn't go for the people that are in front of the quarterback just to make a big pile. He goes for the quarterback. Here's, here's his target. Here he is. Watch how he maneuvers himself to this area to be able to make the hit because the quarterback slides. Let's and, take a look. And a lot of that's film study too, isn't it? Well, it's all film study. All right. All right, now we're gonna now what we're gonna look at, we talk about the versatility of it. What Pete Carroll has done here with his defense, this is an all-up defense. This is a, this is gonna be a pressure type of a defense uh, against 11 personnel. But they've walked everybody up. Now Bobby Wagner has walked up into the gap. He's walked up into this gap, but this is not where he's going to end up, Mike, because they've got a pick game going on. And watch his timing and also watch his acceleration once he gets through the pick game. Here's the pick. I talk about the pick game. Here's the guy he's picking with. Now, as, as they line up here in the gap, Mike, what we're seeing, you line up here in the gap, the protection thinks that they're going to get something like this. All right? They think they're getting something like this. but. They don't get something like this. They get this, and then they get time this. Take a look at it. Perfect timing by Bobby Wagner. Sack. And watch the acceleration. This guy is a very, very savvy football player. He's been in the league at a high level, as we both had said, for 12 years. And this is why they've got a special defense that Pete Carroll leans on a lot 
in his time in Seattle. He went away for a year to the Rams. They brought him back to run the defense, and he's been outstanding again this season in his return to Seattle. He makes plays in every part of the game. Makes plays in the run game, in the pass game, rushing the passer. There's not much Bobby Wagner can't do. He got to the Rams about 10 years too late because we wanted to draft him in that draft in the second round, by the way. That's another story. Okay, well, you'll have to watch him again on the other side this week. I'm sorry about that. I really am. I truly am. I can tell. We've got more Titans All Access coming up right after this.